Hello and welcome to the Science Furry. In this video I want to show how to build a super simple RF detector. With this detector you can detect any radio frequency coming from your phone or microwave or a transmitter and I will use it for a DIY transmitter I will build in an upcoming video. I will show you how to build this on a breadboard and I also soldered it together. For the detector you need a battery clip, an LM358, a resistor with a high value, mega ohms, kilo ohms, doesn't matter, a 470 ohm resistor, an LED and two 1N34 diodes and of course some connectors to connect everything on the breadboard. So here we have the circuit diagram. This is the LM358 and pin 8 is connected to plus or VCC. Pin 4 is connected to ground and pin 1 is the output and it gets connected to a 470 ohm resistor and then to an LED to ground. And here we have the inputs and the pin 3 is connected with a diode with the marking facing to the pin and between this we have a 1 mega ohm or high, re high value resistor to ground and the other one pin 2 is connected to the other diode with the marking facing in the other direction and then we have both connected and on this connection an antenna. Here we have the pinout of the LM358 and with the marking on top and then this is pin 1, pin 2, pin 3, pin 4, pin 5, pin 6, pin 7 and pin 8. Alright, I will start with inserting the LM358. Now I will connect the pin 8 to plus like this. Next pin 4 to ground. Next I will put in the diodes. You can see here, here is the marking to this side and here is the marking to this side. Next I will insert the high value resistor from the diode on pin 3 to ground. Next a 470 ohm resistor from pin 1 to a empty row. And last part the LED with the positive side to the resistor and the negative side to ground. And then we need an antenna where the two diodes meet. Then the connections pin 2 and pin 3 to the diodes. This is pin 3 to the diode on the left side and now pin 2 to the diode on the right side. And then we're almost done. Now we only have to connect the positive side to plus from the battery clip and the negative side to minus on the battery clip. Alright, and now we're done. Now if I put the antenna on my phone and turn it on, you can see the LED is turning on and when the Wi-Fi stops loading then it turns off again and it turns on again at random times. With the remote control this is even more obvious. Loading and then it turns on. And I can actually put this further away than the phone so this has some more transmitting power. I also soldered this together so what you're seeing on the breadboard soldered together on an actual socket board and with a small antenna here. The diodes are sticking out a bit more that acts also as an antenna and this works as well with the phone so you can see the LED is turning on and off again when the Wi-Fi stops loading 
So I hope you liked this video, then give it a like or subscribe for more science projects. Until next time, bye!